Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel of My Life in Our World. If you are new here, hello, my name is Tatiana Fagan and I currently attend Rollins College, which is probably why you are here watching today's video, which is all about 10 benefits or advantages, whatever you want to call them, about going to Rollins College. The whole reason I wanted to make this video today is for any of you guys that are wondering about going to Rollins and trying to make a really great decisive decision about where you want to go to school because I know it can be a really scary thing to decide because it does really affect your life in a huge way. Now I understand that some of you guys may be transferring from another university, public or private, or some of you guys might be in high school and you guys are about to receive your confirmation letters about getting accepted to Rollins and you're trying to figure out what school is going to be best for you. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into the 10 reasons why I think Rollins is a really great place to go. Number one is very, very, very obvious and it's probably one of the number one things that people love about Rollins and it is the beautiful campus. I have to admit one of the number one reasons I really wanted to go there was because the campus was so beautiful and every time that I was on campus it just felt historic yet very well preserved and that is really what they're going for. They do it on purpose. The campus is very old, but they put in a lot of work and money to make sure that all of the buildings are very well kept and that the insides are kept as modern as possible while the outside, it kind of has like I don't know, like a romantic, not gothic, like Italian feel. I have no idea how to describe it, but it's just very beautiful and the architecture is very unique, I want to say. Number two is the small class sizes. And this is going to be a a good thing or a bad thing depending on your preference. Now for me that was a good thing. I did not want to go to a university that had a lot of kids in a class. Now by a lot, I mean over 30. That's a lot for me because that's what you grow up getting used to in high school. And I cannot imagine being in a class with over 200 kids like it's just not a thing I would succeed in but there are plenty of people that really do love those big class sizes because they do allow you to be very independent and there's not so much focus on going to class and like being really engaged and like participating a lot it's more just you go to class you learn what you need to learn and you do the work outside of class but I do think that the small class sizes do offer so much and they really do give you the chance to really interact in class and participate and show your professors how much you learn and just show them that you are really trying to be engaged which I love that is one of the ways that I really take information in and remember it is by engaging and participating in conversations and discussions in class. If I do not participate, it's very difficult for me to remember subject and content matter. So I do suggest if you are like that, if you're like me, then really do look into smaller schools that have those small class sizes. And that doesn't mean that they have to be private necessarily, but it is something to look at if it is a make or break for you. So number three is that I think at Rollins, and this is the same for a lot of those smaller schools, you are a person, not a number. And I don't mean this in, to like bash schools that are bigger, but it is unfortunate and it is almost necessary sometimes in those bigger schools that you are almost treated like a number to keep it organized and to keep it efficient. But to me, that limits the boundaries of how you're able to network and make connections with people in the school. Some examples of this can be just like meeting with your counselor, meeting with your professor. Sometimes it can be really difficult for them to even remember your name because they have classes of over 200 kids. So it's impossible to have those expectations. But in a smaller class size and a school School that doesn't focus on the number as more as seeing you as a person and making that effort to remember your name, remember your major, know where you come from and your needs and wants as a student to see how they can help you best. And that is probably one of my favorite parts about Rollins is just feeling like I'm really valued and so are the things that I have to say. Number four is that the professors are passionate and hands-on. Now again, this is something that people will like or dislike. So very much keep this in mind when you're thinking about going to Rollins, but I love that I feel like almost 95% of the professors at Rollins genuinely 
love their job and they are so passionate about everything that they teach and they are also very hands-on with all the subject matter and the assignments like they are the ones that created every single portion of it it's not like a teacher's assistant or a ta that is helping them out that's another thing to keep in mind that they don't do teacher's assistants at all so it's just the professor and that's it so if you don't like the professor then you're kind of screwed but i have only had two not very good professors and this is going to be my last um, semester at Rollins in the undergraduate program and so this is what my one two three four this is going to be my sixth semester and I've had a lot of teachers at this point some of them have been repetitive like I've had them multiple times and there have only been two that I didn't really like now one of those teachers that I didn't like very much was still very passionate about her job and I can tell that she loved teaching but there was just some things about her method that I didn't enjoy while the other teacher I didn't think that he enjoyed teaching very much and I don't think he was meant for it so those are the only two instances that I feel that they don't really fit into the description but I do think if you are looking for those professors that are very very engaged with everything that they do in the classroom that that is definitely a benefit and an advantage that Rollins College has going for them because I think they take a lot of time researching all of their professors. Now this is a little side note off of this specific benefit, but one thing I really like is that Rollins actually lets the students be involved in the process of hiring a new professor. I was actually picked to be among a group of students in my certain department in social entrepreneurship to be involved in them picking a new candidate um, for a professor I think it was tenure professor I don't I'm not very sure but a more permanent um, professor not a temporary one and we got to not only see their teaching methods in class um, I saw three different professors but I also got to have a lunch with them which I thought was a brilliant idea for four or five students to sit down and have a lunch with a professor just to get them to know them and their like hobbies, their interests, their background, and get to know them as a person and not just as a professor. Now doing both those lunches and seeing their teaching in action really made the choice very clear what professor was going to be the best fit for our department. And so I do think that that is one of the reasons Rollins has such great professors is because they not only listen to the opinions of the pro staff, but they also listen to the opinions of the students which are being taught. Number five is that they have amazing network opportunities. And I say this because after I was there probably for a semester, I met so many people in the Orlando community and made so many connections and mentors and just... It was amazing like that's all I have to say just the amount of professionals that I met that could help me in my career and give me opportunities that I wouldn't have been able to get access to was incredible and I just think that they really have built a great group of people not only in Rollins but outside of Rollins and they're very 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 much involved in the community and that just allows for all these beautiful connections um, for students to have partnerships and career opportunities um, not only in the area area but abroad as well. I mean there have been opportunities for my friends and uh, classmates not only in the state but out of state and out of the country which I just think is so great because it shows that they want you to have a successful career no matter where you go and they want to give you as easy of a pathway to find those opportunities as possible. Number six is that Rollins has plenty of study abroad options. So if this is something that you want to do, like you know when you graduate from high school and you attend college that you at some point within those four years want to study abroad, whether that is for a week whether that is for a summer, a whole semester, or a whole year, Rollins has a ton of options to do that in many, many, many places. I think that they also have a lot of different programs and options for students that want to have a smaller time abroad and also for a lot cheaper options. Quick side note for myself is that in March of this year, 2020, I will be going to Poland and that is going to be my study abroad check mark for my major. And I'm going to Poland to study about learning and teaching about the Holocaust. And I'm 
very, very, very excited. The Holocaust has been a topic I've always been intrigued by, but this um, field study, it's only for a week. So it's about six days that we're going to be in Poland for. And because I have been picked as the student site leader, I did not have to pay the cost to go on the trip. So essentially, I'm going for free. The only thing I did have to pay for was my plane ticket, which was still pretty expensive, but considering that I didn't have to pay for anything else, I was very lucky to be able to do that. So I do think that that is another thing to consider is that just because um, they have all these options, they do have opportunities for you to be selected as a student site leader so that you do not have to pay the full cost. And by student site leader, that essentially means that you are like the RA of the trip. So you're just making sure that there is a clear communication path between the rest of the students on the trip and the person that is in charge like a professor or a pro staff member. For number seven, Rollins's RCC class makes it very easy to find friends when you're a freshman and that is just another benefit that I wanted to add. Now you're probably asking what the heck is the RCC class and that stands for Rollins college conference but that really doesn't give anything away about what the class is so it is a required course that all freshmen have to do when they first get into Rollins and you get to pick it ahead of time and it is like a full-fledged course you take it for the whole semester but it's usually like a fun elective type of thing so the topics range from all over the place but I will say because I was in the 3-2 program my options were limited to two and one had to do with economics and the other had to do with global which was pretty boring I will say but the class itself with the people was actually really fun and I think it's a great way for the college to integrate students and to make sure that they have friends already set before the first day of school so basically like four or five days before class actually starts on that Monday you will come to campus early and you'll be in your dorm unpacked and then you'll have all these different activities with your RCC class so you'll get to meet everyone and meet the professor who is usually your advisor for for that semester until you change it. But they make you do all these activities with everyone in the class that you normally wouldn't do with a class. And because of that, you make friends very quickly. I have a bunch of friends at Rollins that tell me the same thing, that they are still friends with everyone in that RCC class, no matter how different they were, because when you first get to college, everyone's nervous and everyone's just kind of having anxiety about making friends and finding where their group is. And because you're assigned a group almost, it works out really well. So I really did enjoy that group that I got to be friends with. And I think it was a great way for Rollins to really find a way to get students to relax before the first day of school and make sure that on that first day they had someone to wave high at. So number eight is that the business programs at Rollins are nationally recognized. And that is for all of their business programs. So international business, regular business management, and technically I think social entrepreneurship counts as a business program or maybe it's its own but the business program in general at Rollins is very 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 well known and that's actually one of the things that they you know every college has their majors that they are known for because they do really well like UCF it's medical it's engineering at UF it's kind of similar and Rollins is really well known for business um, not only because of their undergraduate programs but also because of their MBA program as well so if you are looking into getting a business degree I would definitely take a look at Rollins's program. So another thing that I probably should have put in this list, but I don't want to make it 11, I'll just put it under this, is that they have a 3-2 program, which allows for you to complete your undergraduate degree in three years. And then what would have been your fourth year or your senior year of college, you actually start attending Rollins's MBA program at Crummer. It's still on the same campus, so it's not like you're driving somewhere different, but it's a great Great way for you to take advantage of scholarship money if you were given it for that fourth year. If you come into Rollins with extra credits from IB or AP classes, that's really great. But sometimes if you graduate early, that fourth year of school that you're taking away because you're graduating early, all that money from that year goes back into the school. 
you don't get it. So what I really advise students to do if they do come in with a lot of credits or they really want to do a business um, program with an MBA is that they look into this program because it saves you a ton of money if you do have scholarship money. But either way, it still saves you at least a year's worth of um, program money for MBA programs. So please, please, please take a look at Ronza's website if you are interested in business in any way, shape, or degree. Even if you are someone that doesn't know what they want to do, I would still advise that you look at Ronza's um, programs for business because I always think business is a really great degree to get. If you know you want to go to college and you want to get a higher education, but you haven't found a passion yet because business can be applied to so many sectors. And I think it's just always a great undergraduate degree to get you into something better for a master's or graduate degree. All right, number nine is that Rollins has a lot of fun and quirky elective options. Now, what I mean by this is that because Rollins is a private liberal arts college, they really don't have a lot of limitations and boundaries when it comes to their classes and I do think that this is a huge benefit because it makes learning a lot more fun and interactive because the classes that you get to take are so diverse and different and not often classes that you would see anywhere else. There's a couple classes that I took that were just super fun and quirky. One of them was called one hit wonders or something like that and there was another that i was gonna take that was about like the history of like witches and myths about like witches and stuff like that it's really crazy but people love it and this is part of like our arf love courses which i'm not going to get into if you want a video on what our flow courses mean um, i can definitely do that so i definitely advise if you want to have a really cookie cutter degree but you're kind of nervous that you won't be able to take fun classes that is not a thing at Rollins no matter what degree or major you are in you are required to take these types of classes as electives to fulfill requirements like history or humanities or arts or something like that and they are there for a reason because they are very fun so definitely look into those on their website because they are definitely I think a selling point for some students all right so we are down to number 10 and I had to do this as the last one because it is meaning the most to me and that is Rollins College offers a social entrepreneurship major and if you watch my channel or you watch any of my videos you probably have heard this term many 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 times before and are probably sick of it but I have to say it again if you're in high school and you have no idea what social entrepreneurship means it is basically like a business degree but it does have a lot more focus on um, the entrepreneurship side of it and you know not only caring about how to make profit in a company and the strategies to do that but to also make sure that your business and your plans of action also have positive influences on the world, not only the people, but also the environment. So if you are, as many say, a hippie in some way, but you still want to own a business or you want to be a part of a business um, that does good instead of bad, I definitely think that you should check out Rollins' website on social entrepreneurship because I had no idea that that was a thing when I went to Rollins. I came in, I told my advisor that I was interested in advocacy and social good, volunteering, but and business, and I was naturally innovative. Like I considered myself to be a creative person and she instantly put me in a class for this degree and I fell in love with it. So if you are seeing yourself as someone that is interested in marketing, sustainability, business, corporate sustainability as well, these are things that you should be looking into. Not a lot of colleges offer degrees that are similar to this. And I will say Rollins is actually the only college in the United States that offers a social entrepreneurship degree. And I'm really hoping that in the future, more universities, public universities specifically, are able to create this um, major and offer it to more students because I find myself meeting so many people that go to other colleges that would thrive in this major, but it's not offered. So they often do a double major in marketing and sustainability, or they mix something up 
together that gives them something similar. All right, so that is all 10, and that is all that I have for you guys on some benefits of Rollins College, the good things that they have going for them. And I'm sure that there are things that I forgot and things that I'll think of later on tonight that I'm like, man, I wish I could have entered that in. And if I do think of a bunch more, I might make a second one of these videos. So I'll definitely let you know. But I will say keep a lookout for some more videos on Rollins because yes, there are good things about this school, but there's always going to be some downsides and some negatives. And that happens with every school that you go to. I just want to be as transparent as possible for you guys because making this decision about where you want to go to school or if you're transferring is just a huge, huge decision, not only mentally and physically, but financially. And if you don't think that this is the right school for you, then I don't want want you to dig yourself a hole in debt or whatever it is and I just want to make sure that it's the right choice for you. So I will be coming out soon with a video about Rollins College's disadvantages and I'm going to be honest with you guys. These are things that I have based on my own experiences and they might not be negative to everyone. So I do want you to keep that in mind when I come out with those videos and that's the same with this. There are probably some things in this video that might not apply to you or you don't like but this is really just to give you guys more information about the school that I attend and my own experience and opinions on some good things and bad things but please let me know in the comments if there are any other questions you have about Rollins and if they seem to be lengthy replies I will definitely make a whole video on it but if it's a small thing I'll definitely write back to you in the comments and give you guys as much information maybe lead you in the direction of a website or a link a uh, web page that will give you more information than I could because I'm not the expert on everything Rollins and I know that there are so many people um, at my school that could give you guys really great answers to your questions. All right, but that is all I have for you. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video and if you did like it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you like me and my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I would just it would mean a lot. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2020. And right now I think I'm about at 209, 208. It fluctuates. Um, and I'm just trying to be consistent and give you guys videos that you guys are interested in, but also ones that I love to make. So definitely support my channel. It would be amazing if you did that, but also make sure to um, push the little bell notification symbol as well so that anytime I do upload a new video, you guys are notified of that and you guys can watch it and enjoy the video. All right, so you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.